Okay, first of all, thank everybody for coming on out this morning. Uh, I think it's been a very great morning for us. Uh, nice, cool night, and the uh, morning turned out to be great. But uh, just want to greet everyone and thank you for coming out. And right now, I'm going to introduce Lori Weaver. Lori is from the Northeast Alabama Traffic Safety Office. She uh, ministers the Yellow Dot Program. It's been our privilege and our honor to have her expert, expertise uh, through this little event and, and uh, uh, to help get this program started in the Target County. Right now, I'm going to introduce Lori. Thank you, Lori. Good morning. On behalf of the Northeast Alabama Traffic Safety Office and the Law Enforcement and Traffic Safety Division of the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs, I would like to welcome all of you and thank you for attending the official launch of the Atauga County Yellow Dot Program. I would specifically like to thank our ADECA Director, Jim Byer, for being here today. Uh, we're very honored by his presence here. Um, the Yellow Dot Program is the first program of its kind in the state of Alabama. And it is a cooperative effort between local law enforcement, emergency medical services, and fire and rescue. The purpose of the Yellow Dot program is to save lives. And the way that it can save lives is by improving the communication between the first responders and the citizens that they serve in the event that that participating citizen is involved in a motor vehicle accident or some other medical emergency. It can be a tool in the hand of the first responder to help save that individual's life by allowing them to effectively treat them by giving them pertinent personal and medical information on that individual so that they can take into consideration the pre-existing medical history of that person. It also will allow them to take full advantage of that golden hour or that first hour after the trauma has occurred to start treating that individual rather than trying to pry information out of them or someone else in the vehicle. But most importantly, it can be a voice for the injured when they are unable to speak for themselves. As I've traveled across the state of Alabama and started all of the now 30 counties that are on board with this program, I've heard many, many stories from individuals about how thankful they are that this program has been made available to them. Because a lot of people have a lot of uh, medical conditions, pre-existing medical conditions, that they're very concerned. Uh, they want to make sure that the first responders have access to that information so that they have all the information they need to be able to best treat them. So they've been very thankful that we've um, allowed them to have the opportunity to sign up for this program. It also will provide emergency contact information so that individual's family can be notified um, so that they will know what has happened to the individual and where they're going to be transported. When an individual signs up for the Yellow Dot program, they will receive this Yellow Dot decal which goes in the back window of the vehicle, bottom left corner. This is what alerts first responders that in the event there is an emergency situation, there's an automobile accident, they see this decal on the vehicle. They know they can go to the glove compartment for this corresponding yellow dot folder. Once they open it up, they're going to see a picture of that individual so that they can positively identify that the information they are about to use belongs to that individual and not someone else. Once they get this out of the folder, they're going to have the individual's name. And once they open it up, they're going to have all of their pre-existing medical history, what medications they're on, what they're allergic to, their emergency contact information, their blood type, all the information that they need to best treat them in a timely manner. On the back is a place for them to put their name, age, address, and phone number. I did not mention a place for a birth date or a social security number. Okay, so there's no way someone can get this out of someone's glove compartment and steal their identity. That is something that will come up from time to time. Uh, there is no birth date, no social security number in here. Uh, if it is a, a husband and wife situation, we will put them both in the same vehicle. Um, if they have more than one vehicle, we will give them one for each vehicle that, we, that they own. This program is being offered free to anyone of any age in the state of Alabama. And the reason why it is being funded here, or the way it is being funded, excuse me, here in Atauga County is by funding provided by the Spinners Club of Prattville, Atauga County Fair Board, Atauga County RSVP, Atauga County Extension Office, Atauga County Commission, Virginia Barnes Memorial Fund, Kiwanis of Prattville, Central Alabama Electric Cooperative, Atauga County Chapter of AARP, 
and a grant being provided by the Law Enforcement and Traffic Safety Division of the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs. <laughs> Alabama is not the first state in the nation to implement this program. The program began in Connecticut in 2002 where it was funded by People's United Bank. Um, it has been in, in force since 2002 and since that time, Virginia, Kansas, Illinois, Iowa, Minnesota, Massachusetts, and now Alabama, making Alabama the eighth state in the nation to implement this program. Uh, Alabama, it was said in USA Today once, that Alabama has the most robust yellow dot program in the nation. And we really do. Uh, we started our program here in Etowah County in February of 2009. And um, because of the interest that we got across the state of Alabama because we started the program in Etowah County, we went to the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs and asked them if they would fund the expansion of this program across the state of Alabama. And the answer to that request was yes. So in February of 2010, we began the expansion of the Yellow Dot program across Alabama. And since that time, we have gone into now 30 counties. So we have moved very, very quickly through the state of Alabama. We've had a lot of cooperation from many different agencies across the state when going into the new counties um, that we are serving with Yellow Dot. Um, because of the, 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 the rapid growth of the program across the state, USA Today contacted me back in May and, and did an article on Alabama's Yellow Dot program. Um, and then they did a follow-up in July of 2011 as well. And since that time, we've been contacted by many states across the nation, 47 to be exact, and we have had the privilege of working with departments of transportation from the state of Illinois, New York, Florida, and Tennessee, to name a few. And we have also gotten a word back from the St. Martin Parish in Louisiana, Chester County, Pennsylvania, and Clay County, New York, that because of the cooperation of our office, the cooperation of the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs, they are now offering Yellow Dot in those counties and those states. So we're very, very proud that what we are doing here in the state of Alabama has gotten national recognition and that hopefully lives in other states will be saved because of this program, because of what we have done. Now, Otago County is not the first county in the state of Alabama to implement this program. As I said earlier, we started the program in Etowah County in February of 2009. Um, since that time, it's, and starting in February of 2011, um, excuse me, 2010, uh, the counties now on board with the program are Etowah, Marshall, Cherokee, Pike, Montgomery, Colbert, Henry, Houston, Escambia, Clay, Butler, Dale, Geneva, Madison, Clark, Jefferson, Baldwin, Covington, Russell, Walker, Lee, Randolph, Shelby, Choctaw, Dallas, Tallapoosa, Crenshaw, St. Clair, Mobile, and now Otaga County, making Otaga County the 30th county in the state of Alabama to adopt Yellow Dot. We also have four other counties on board to start the program by the middle of November. We will have four additional counties on board with Yellow Dot. Now, how did the program get to Otaga County? When we started the program in Montgomery County back in April of 2010, a gentleman by the name of Rod Harley from the um, Otaga County RSVP came and spoke to me. And he said, you know what, this is such a great program. I would love to see it in Otaga County. So I gave him the information that he needed to then come back to Otaga County and meet with the officials, meet with uh, Pam Goodwin from the RSVP office, and get them excited and on board with the program. So I would like to thank Rod Harley for all the efforts that he put into getting this program here in Otago County. I would like to thank Mayor Bill Gillespie for all of the work that he has done as well, and particularly Teresa Lee from his office. Uh, she has, has done a, a remarkable job, um, and I want to thank her and the mayor for their cooperation and for sponsoring this program. I would also thank, to like, like to thank Sheriff Herbie Johnson for um, his endorsement of the program. I would like to thank Pam Goodwin for all of the hard work that she has put into <coughs> seeking funding for this program. The Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs provides the majority 
of what is needed to provide this to the citizens of this county. But there are some ongoing expenses like ink and paper uh, to print those photos. And Pam was determined that before she started the program here in this county, she was going to make sure she had the funds necessary in place to make sure this program would stay active for a minimum of three years. And she was able to do that. And I mentioned, <laughs> I mentioned earlier all of the sponsors of this program. And again, I want to thank them for that. I'd also like to thank Ms. Yvonne Thomas with the County Extension Office. Uh, she has also, since that time, uh, sought uh, funding to be able to help do a brochure for the county and uh, to be able to continue to provide the paper and the ink for her office as well. So there are a lot of people in this county that have done a lot of work to get this program here. And I want to thank each and every one of them. And in closing, on behalf of the Northeast Alabama Traffic Safety Office, I would like to thank everyone that has worked on this project in Atauga County for taking us one step closer to our goal of making Yellow Dot a statewide reality. Because since the very beginning in our office at the Northeast Alabama Traffic Safety Office, that has been our goal. Uh, I would like to recognize one other person, Mr. Carlos Kimbrough, who is the director of the Central Alabama Highway Safety Office. This is his region. I'm from the northeast part of the state. Um, I would like to thank Mr. Kimbrough for all of his work in um, getting me in front of the officials of the various counties in his region to ensure that there's cooperation in his region with Yellow Dot. Now, anyone uh, wishing to have more information about this statewide initiative can go to www.adeca.alabama.gov or they can search for Alabama Yellow Dot on Facebook. One other thing I want to mention. I mentioned earlier, um, thought something else came to my mind. Um, I mentioned earlier that this program is being offered free to anyone of any age. A lot of people um, have the misconception that this is a senior citizen program. It is not. It is free to anyone of any age. We have signed up infants, teenage new drivers. What a great program for them. Oftentimes they're involved in motor vehicle accidents. They can be connected with their family. Their parents can be notified that they've been injured and where they're, where they're going to be transported. We've signed up a lot of young families who um, see this as a way to connect their children if in the event something were to happen to the parents in, in a crash. Um, it, it allows uh, first responders to be able to contact family to, to be able to come and assist those children. And another thing uh, we have found as we've gone across the state of Alabama with this program is it's not just a motor vehicle accident program. In Jefferson County, where we started the program in December, I think, of last year, um, there was actually a situation where um, an individual was at church, uh, and he had a heart attack. And um, paramedics arrived on the scene, and they um, couldn't get any information out of him. He was unconscious. He had no family there. And uh, so they rushed him on off to the hospital. They had no pre-existing information on that individual. They did not know what they were dealing with. And so some of his friends remembered, you know what, I think he has a yellow dot folder in his car. So they went out, they got that yellow dot folder out of his vehicle, and they rushed it to the hospital so that the, the emergency um, doctors and, and nurses had access to that information. And they were very thankful, obviously, to get that. So this program is benefiting individuals across the state of Alabama in so many ways, not just when you're involved in a motor vehicle accident. So I would encourage anyone to sign up for this program, even those who have perfect health. Um, it is, it, I've been told by paramedics across the state that um, even if you are perfectly healthy, you should sign up for the program because if you will put in those spaces under med medical conditions, <coughs> allergies, and medications that there is nothing pre-existing that they need to be concerned about, that will really be a benefit to them. So we're encouraging anyone of any age of any medical history to sign up for the program. Again, I want to thank you very much for being here. I want to thank everyone in Otago County for, for helping us to get the program here. And um, thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. You've done a great job there. And, and it's, uh, it's, it's my honor to do you know, the work that I've done beside you and get to know you. And uh, thank you for all the compliments that you had for us. Uh, at this time, I want to go ahead and recognize all of our elected officials here.
have uh, State Representative Paul Beckman, and, uh, uh, Commissioner Sid Thompson, Commissioner Jay Thompson, and also I have Brian Taylor. Uh, anybody would like to make a com comment or anything at this time? Just uh, congratulations, great work. Thank you. Rebecca for making uh, this possible. Congratulations to all of you on this leverage, uh, leverage public dollars in, in uh, dire, dire times to, to make this possible with some private funding. Thank you. At this time, uh, let's see if Jim Biden would like to make a comment. Thanks, Bill. Mayor. Uh, I'm, Laura and Carlos are the workers of this, organ, of this uh, operation. But they called and wanted to know if I wanted to come here. And I want to come here because this is my home community. And I know what good food is served in this building. And I know there's a mean game of rooks. So uh, I'm going to be brief. So maybe there's some food back there. And maybe I can get a hand of rook in before I have to go back to work. I want to uh, seriously thank uh, Pam Goodwin and Mr. Hartley. And Laura told you the kind of the scripted way this happened. And... Everyone knows there's a behind the scenes and it's, and it's not always on the script. And so what Rod did is he told Pam and Pam came down there when I was still the mayor and twisted my ear and said, we're going to do this program and we need some funding. And then when I went to work for Governor Bentley, she followed over to, across the river and called and said, we're going to do this program. And as Senator Taylor just said, this is a true example of public and private partnership. What a tremendous uh, opportunity that the state gives local communities across the state. And I'm so proud that Otago County is our 30th community. And in a couple of weeks, we'll have 34 counties. And I appreciate both Representative Beckman and Senator Taylor. I appreciate the support that they give because uh, this program would not be possible if the funding didn't come to ADECA and didn't come to the Law Enforcement Traffic Safety Division of our, of our community. But I thank all of our local officials, and I especially want to recognize and thank these first responders, both by our uh, paid folks from Prattville and our volunteers out in the county. As mo most folks know, Otago County is a rural community. Prattville's in the, in the far corner, and um, so when these yellow dots uh, are appearing on cars, this will help, help all of our first responders. I appreciate being here, and I appreciate the partnership. Thank you all, Commissioners, and thank you, Mr. President. Well, thank you. Thank you for all those comments. Which one thing I do want to follow up on is that, um, which I am a, a motorcycle cyclist myself, and a lot of times the motorcycles get overlooked, but there's also a program for the motorcycles, so uh, please encourage them to, to sign up to it also. But I also want to thank... Pam Goodman and, and Rod Harley. Uh, I don't know if you were named after a motorcycle or not. <laughs> Thank you for all the hard work you put out for this. Um, and again, echoing about our first responders, both uh, the Prattville Fire Department, uh, Police Department, uh, one of the sign up areas. We'll be at our uh, Police Department 24 7 there. Uh, we'll have uh, sign up at our fire station number three up around Walmart. And then there's some other areas uh, out in the county that. Uh, that the uh, volunteer fire department can, can help out with. And my understanding is going to be the the uh, pine level and also um, the independence fire department. But you know, this is if this program, if it just saves one life, whether it's a motorcycle or car, or like the other example, is just an individual who happened to be at church or a shopping center or something has some kind of medical issue. If it just saves one life, all the effort that everybody has put into it will be 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 worth the cost. But um, uh, the, the county has put up uh, some funding to help this, and uh, I want to thank them uh, and, uh, and all the hard work that's gone in from, from their end. And, um, but thank you everybody for coming out. And um, let's see, I guess at this time, Ms. Lori, you want to explain to the attendee who's supposed to come back up and explain about the enrollment? Okay. What I want to do is explain to all of you who are here to actually sign up for the program how we're going to handle it so it can go very quickly and very smoothly. If you have one vehicle, we're going to have you come to one of the first two tables right up here. If you have two vehicles, come over to this direction. Um, if you have a spouse that is not here today, we can give you the information for that spouse. Uh, they can come to one of the permanent enrollment stations and have a photo taken another time. Again, if you have anyone else you would like information for, we can give you whatever you need um, here today, and then they can follow up and put a picture on later. Um, once you actually get your photo taken, what we'll do is we'll attach it to your medical information sheet. We'll go out into the um, parking lot and put the, the decals on the vehicles if you would like us to do that, okay? Um, does anyone 
that's here to sign up for the program have any questions before we move on to that part of the news conference. Okay. All right. I think we're ready to go then. I've got a question. Where does Mr. Carter put his decal on that buggy he's got? <laughs> <laughs> And then burn have a bell week. <laughs> <laughs> back of that big old truck he had. Yeah, yeah. we we'll just stick it on the back of his head and then we'll go. <laughs> hard, spot, hard to spot in Prattle. That's right. <laughs> All right. I think Thank we're ready to move on. Thank you very much. There's actually be four of these. There'll be two for you and then two for Mr. Bill. Okay. One of each will go to the next day. One goes in your car and one goes in your car. Let me start. Put your name in here. Actually, we'll let you fill out most of yours. And then we'll let, I'll let you take the list. What you can do is go ahead and put it on and then we'll pretend like you're putting it on for the video. Okay. Might be the easiest thing. That's what we normally do. Thank you, sir.